Hello everyone, good afternoon because it's already 2 p.m. <laughs> LOL. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. If you're new here, I make a bunch of lifestyle productivity and fitness journey vlogs. So if that interests you and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. So with that said, it's the day after move-in day. I'm exhausted. We got home super late. It was pretty exhausting. If you saw the last moving vlog, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was just a super long day. And today is a weekday, so I actually have to work. So this morning I was like running around trying to figure out my Wi-Fi, making sure I connected that. But thankfully I was able to do that by around 10 a.m. and I signed into work. So now it's 2 p.m. I'm taking kind of like a late lunch because I did start later today. But I thought it would be a good time to start vlogging because I want to start doing some unpacking, organizing, online shopping during my lunch. So that's kind of what I'm going to be focused on today is just unpacking all of these boxes. You see this? Yeah, I need to start unpacking those because on Saturday, the organization that I got these reusable boxes from are actually going to come to my apartment to come pick them up. So I literally need to unpack these boxes by the end of the week. So I'm gonna get started today. We're gonna do that. I also need to get some groceries. So we might do a little grocery haul in this vlog today as well. So I hope that you enjoy today's vlog. If you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to comment down below because I love chatting with you all in the comments. And with that said, let's get into the video. Hey, what you up to? Quick little status update, if you will. So I obviously had to bring out my Nespresso because I needed to, you know, make some coffee this morning. Here are all... <laughs> The moving boxes don't mind my tripod i was literally taking photos for the thumbnail you know because quality earlier today since i wasn't able to yesterday but yeah essentially this is what i need to get started on and eventually sometime this week my boyfriend's gonna come over to help me do some of the unpacking as well but your girl's gotta get started because i'm now living i'm fully living in my new apartment my lease is not up at my old apartment for about a week so i'm still gonna go later this week to go do some cleaning but this is my living room at this current moment and if you walk into my bedroom you will see another mess i'm currently washing all of my bedding my pillowcases all of that because i feel like after moving you know that's kind of nasty yeah it's it's a whole mess i haven't i haven't really started unpacking we just kind of went to sleep as soon as we could this is my dresser one of the drawers actually kind of broke or like bent during the move so i'm gonna have to fix that or wait until my boyfriend comes to fix it likely the latter option because i have so much unpacking to do but this is a current state i think this is very much temporary it's a much smaller room so i'm either going to sell my dresser and get a new dresser or just like reconfigure my room i think this bookcase i'm probably actually going to leave it in the living room but we'll figure out that later also this is my first time getting a matcha at starbucks in a really 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 long time i don't even remember the last time that i did this is so freaking good i just got it with light ice because i feel like starbucks tends to you know add a lot of ice to their drinks and it kind of waters it down so i recommend getting light ice ice matcha with only two pumps of their classic syrup this is so good and actually i think next time i'm going to try it with only one pump because even this is a little sweet mm, just what i needed for today but with that said I'm not really sure what I want to start unboxing first, unboxing, unpacking first, but I'm thinking I should probably get to like the kitchen stuff since I'm going to need to be eating and things like that. And I also want to run all of the dishes through the dishwasher because it's kind of gross. I don't really want to use them right after moving them in these crates. So let's do that. Get a boy, get a boy, look what you done to me. I am not a toy that you can play with. How I love a sudden you acting jaded oh, Keep it on the low Say that you just wanna keep it casual No, can't believe I did Fell for you the virgin inside my head Deja vu had me thinking of you For the past is a past glad that it's so new Riding around on your board with your angst and your issues I guess that you scored on Skater boy, skater boy, now you're gone, I don't get free Skater boy, skater boy, 
you were no good to me The way you strung me along and I just took it Can't believe you put me through all that bullshit, oh Keep it on the low Said that you just wanna keep it casual My lunch break is just about to be over but I wanted to do a quick little update before I sign back into work. So I haven't completely made my bed yet because the bedding, the comforter, the duvet was not fully dried so I put it to dry a bit longer. I'll have to finish this after work. But everything else here has been washed and I put the cases back on the pillows so now they're nice and clean so I can get a good night's sleep tonight so I'm super excited. Also in here, I put in the shower curtain. I'm gonna get a new plastic lining, but for now I just wanted to be able to shower. And I really am so excited to try out this new shower because it has this like waterfall <laughs> shower head or whatever it's called. And then I just brought like my little shower caddy organizer with me from my last apartment and I put that in. I put this here earlier this morning and I just filled it with toilet paper. Honestly, right now I'm just all about functionality. I think my apartment is looks really nice so I'm not super worried about decor at the moment so I pretty much filled up the dishwasher but I think that there might be a few dishes left over I could wash but I think it's pretty much full so I think I'm gonna set this to wash while I work that way they can dry by the time I get out of work I can start putting dishes away and continue unpacking and then hopefully get myself some groceries I had to take this out of the refrigerator because in order to put in my water purifier it just didn't fit so I think I might have have to store this away or something but yeah as you can see I don't really have any food so a grocery run is necessary I don't know if y'all can see this wind but it's actually terrifying it's looking pretty stormy outside so I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna go get groceries or not we shall see so I love that this is sort of ish coming together because I want to have a good night's sleep tonight y'all. Also the bookshelf does fit in here. I probably will get rid of that table or I don't know move it somewhere else. But I might actually leave the bookshelf in here because I feel like it goes with the white theme in my bedroom more. Especially since my living room I'm not sure <laughs> what my theme is going to be. It really depends on what affordable couch and furniture I find. And let's not even talk about the fact that it took me like three different times to try to put on this duvet by myself because I know like this trick on how to roll it up but it's really a two-person job and I tried doing it by myself and it honestly would have been fine maybe if I like had food in my system but yeah it took me forever and on top of that let's not talk about the fact that I still managed to put it on inside out we're just gonna we're just gonna move on move along so out here no updates really because I just signed out of work like half an hour ago and it also finally stopped raining and thundering so I think it's time for me to go to the grocery store. So it's only been about 20 minutes actually since I signed off of work. It's 6 20 right now and it's been thundering the past few hours and storming outside so I wasn't sure if I was gonna go get groceries but right now it seems like it's calmed down. Also there's a grocery store like literally across the street and right around the corner so I think I'll be fine even if it does start to rain. I'll just like walk faster I guess but yeah I definitely need some groceries. I'm really hungry. All I've eaten was that sandwich from Starbucks. So before before I can get to all of this, I'm ravenous. Your girl needs, you know, some sustenance. So I'm gonna go do that. I play backward, so far, the backward, backward, so far, backward, so far, I want backward. Okay y'all, so I just got back from the grocery store. I went to Whole Foods after all. Thankfully it did not rain. <laughs> Let me fix this. I just wanted to show you real quick my first little mini grocery haul in my new apartment. I really just needed to get some food because I do have some food actually in the fridge of my old apartment. We just, we haven't fully moved like the food. Well, we brought all of the food that was in the pantry and all of the dry foods, but anything that was in the freezer is like still in the freezer because technically I have 10 days until I have to move out of my apartment. I had to get some food for this week. Okay. 
Okay, quick little mini grocery haul. So let's start with the fun stuff. I got one of my faves, this salted caramel cluster. It's a dairy free ice cream and I don't have like lactose intolerance or anything. I just try to do dairy free whenever possible because I already have like an addiction to cheese. So, but that's actually really, really good. I got some food for tonight because I haven't really unpacked everything. So I got, this was for David because he's gonna come over to help me pack after he works out at my gym. So I got buffalo chicken clusters. I also got smoked mozzarella pasta salad. And I also got like this quinoa salad that's actually really good. And honestly, all this food would probably last me like two or three days at least. But I'm actually gonna be sharing dinner tonight with David. So likely we're gonna finish this food. So this is deviled eggs. I love deviled eggs. They're like one of my favorite foods. Fun fact, but I also got blueberries berries got guac for my sea salt lime chips some roasted almonds to snack on while i work and also my favorite oh my gosh their sourdough bread at whole foods is so good almost every time i go get it it's like warm because they just baked it it's it's just yeah it's so good it's better than like panera or anything and then i got some boom and berry dave's killer bread blueberry bagels i also got yerba mate tropical uprising it's i've never actually tried this flavor so i'm gonna have that tonight guava goddess kombucha courtesy of being inspired by baby hey and i also got some coconut pieces because i honestly love 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 coconut like fresh coconut so much i've never really been a huge fan of coconut flakes but fresh coconut oh man i i can go down on that i got some of that because this was actually cheaper than buying blackberries and it was cheaper than buying pomegranate seeds so anyway this is just a very mini haul and now i'm gonna go put the food away all right so david arrived and it is i don't even know what time it is because my watch is about to die since my charger is packed somewhere so hopefully i find it oh <laughs> you so it's 8 24 and yeah now we're gonna start unpacking that's the whole dilemma with like having to unpack after a work day it's fine though but side note look at this sunset isn't it beautiful and that's literally my view i'm so in love you're the view calm down calm down and we've made some progress. These are the empty crates now and this is going to be like the food pantry. That's gonna be stuff that I don't really use so much. And then I'm not really sure what's gonna go in there yet. It's honestly a big kitchen, but I wanna try to keep it as organized as possible, which is why I'm going to purchase some like pantry organization things, including like a Lazy Susan for all these spices that are currently here. But this is all very temporary just because we really need to unpack these as soon as possible but that's my little check-in i will check in with you all probably towards the end of the night hopefully we get through a lot more of this this is just garbage pay no mind to that so quick little update it's 10 20 the time kind of got away from us but we are done for the night because we both have to work tomorrow. And honestly, if you can see, I'm like sweaty. Our feet hurt because it's all hardwood floors. Like I'm wearing slippers. Bay is just barefoot. So his feet are killing him too. So yeah, we're just gonna wash a few dishes to eat. Eat this food that I got from Whole Foods and call it a night. So I will check in with you all probably tomorrow when I continue with the unpacking just to show you all some progress. I 
gotta eat good, I think. Actually, let me tell y'all if I recommend. Mmm, this is definitely good. This is the smoked mozzarella pasta salad. Definitely recommend that. And let's try the quinoa salad. Mmm, 10 out of 10 for both of those. This I'm not as excited about, but Bay really wanted it, so we got it. Let's see what this tastes like. It's all right. Hello friends, welcome back. So it is Wednesday, it's currently almost 1 p.m. I am on my lunch and I thought it would be, oh my gosh, can y'all see me? Let me close this door. Yep, that's better. But I wanted to give you all kind of like another little moving update. I think we left off while David was here and we were unpacking. So let me show you all real quick the progress that we've made and kind of like the ideas that I have with organization and things like that. So my goal with the bathroom is to get a little organizer right here for my skincare stuff and then to try to keep the counters as clear as possible so that they'll be easier to keep clean and then the window, the window, and then the mirror, I need to find something that is like streak free because otherwise I don't think my mirror is ever going to be this clean again. So yeah, Windex just does not cut it. If y'all have any suggestions for window cleaners that are streak free, please let your girl know. So down here, as you can see, I don't have any drawers, which I don't love, but you know, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna get it organized because so far this is not super usable. So I'm going to buy some acrylic or just like clear plastic drawers, hopefully, to stack here and just kind of organize this whole mess. So we're gonna work on that in a future vlog. So make sure to stay tuned, turn on your post notifications, all of that for some bathroom organization slash decor. But as a now for unpacking it is finally starting to move along it's finally starting to like unfold and feel like home and it's like a usable space you know nothing really updated here the living room yeah as you can see a lot of the things that are left here are like clothing one of them is electronics which is just like camera gear but clothing shoes closet bookshelf the only reason i haven't unpacked the bookshelf is because i'm still trying to figure out if i want to have it in the living room or if i want to have it stay in my bedroom so that is to be determined probably in just one of my normal vlogs this is unpacked it's gonna stay here for now i'm probably going to put all of my things on there we'll let you know we'll probably do it during my lunch actually my kitchen i don't have a trash can so that's like <laughs> the trash for right now but this is going to be my like pantry so i definitely am going to buy some organizers from amazon as well to organize the whole pantry so that hopefully i can make use of all of this great storage that i have here so i love that the space above the fridge is like a cabinet instead of just being you know like super open so i'm using it to store some boxes and like some things that we just don't use so often once i get the pantry organized organization containers that I'm gonna order. This protein will just go in here, but for now the container is just too big and kind of obnoxious. So let me turn on this light, kitchen light. So this right here, I don't really love, but it is useful to keep pots and pans that we wash by hand. So I'm gonna keep that there for now. Thankfully, at least the colors match the whole kitchen aesthetic. Down here, we have some cleaning supplies. The rest of my cleaning supplies are at my old apartment because we still need to go clean. So up here, I have my dishes started, but again, I'm getting some kitchen organization racks so that hopefully this will be like two shelves and I can stack plates and stuff better so that I can hold more things because I also want to buy some new beer glasses but I will update you all in later vlogs. <laughs> this right now is literally the miscellaneous cabinet. This is where I have my spatulas and stuff right now because this has all of the spices but eventually I think I want to put the spices up here on a lazy Susan I think it's called like a spinning clear organizer. I would rather have the spices here potentially and also those snacks will all be going in some of the organizers that I I buy and hopefully they'll fit in here somewhere so stay tuned for a kitchen organization video because I'm very excited for that and then up here we just have the oils and some of the bigger spice containers that won't fit in the cabinet we were finally unpacked the famous teapot that I love so much and we use every single night and also this toaster oven 
which is beat up and she has to go. But this is the only toaster that I have right now and your girl needs her bagels in the morning. So for now I'm keeping it, but eventually I think I'm just gonna get a regular toaster because I honestly noticed that I pretty much just toast bread in here and this takes up a lot of space to just toast bread, you know? Up here, I just put basically any cups that I don't use day to day, like anything that I would take on the go and then some more coffee things. And then up there, I just have paper plates and I'm probably gonna put the paper cups up there as well. This cabinet really annoyed me. Why are you so deep, but I can only reach like this section. So we're not gonna, we're not even gonna talk about that. But all in all, we definitely got a lot of progress done. All of these crates are empty and I just need to go through these. So since I'm currently on my lunch, I think I'm going to try to unpack the bookshelf crate and pretty much organize and do all of that. The reason that I can't unpack all of these crates with clothing and stuff like that is because we actually left all of my clothes hangers at my old apartment. So when I go back to do all of the final deep cleaning, vacuuming, all of that stuff, I'm going to get all of my clothes hangers. Actually, probably before then because I need to wash all of the clothes anyway. So either, not tonight, because tonight I actually have to go somewhere with David after work. Tomorrow I'll probably unpack all of the clothing. I'm not gonna film all of that because it just doesn't seem necessary. It feels like we're finally nearing the end of the moving and I can start to breathe, or at least it's getting close. I definitely feel a lot of pressure because I have a whole like one bedroom apartment but I don't have you know like a dining table and all of that stuff but I just need to remind myself to take it day by day and that you know the deals will come because furniture is so expensive y'all I like modern things so my taste is very like minimalistic but modern and neutral it's kind of just too specific so yeah and then the fact that i also want to try to keep things within a budget is just making it a little bit tougher so i will definitely be shopping around and i will be buying furniture and decor and all of that and i'm really excited for it so that will be in future vlogs make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with my weekly vlogs and also make sure to turn on your post notifications because i do post several vlogs per week around 11 a.m. I don't have specific days that I stick to. I kind of just work within my nine to five work schedule. And with that said, let's get to the unpacking portion. Yeah, it's also just so hard to find a sofa that's affordable and that's cute and like the style that I want, you know? Yeah. I guess I'm mostly worried that I'll get a couch online and one, it might not arrive for a long time or two, it might not be comfy at all. Yeah, the thing about that, I, I think about is so I'm officially tired out from unpacking all of the clothes that was wrapping up the decor that I just unpacked. I put it to wash. I'm definitely going to be washing clothes all week because I also need to unpack all of the clothes. Right now, I'm going on Amazon to buy all of the organizational things that I need to get for the bathroom and for the kitchen. It's gonna be kind of spendy, but I'm hoping it'll be worth it because I just cannot have a repeat of my last apartment where I just, it was a disorganized mess at some points. This will solve that problem or at least prevent that problem from happening. I also just feel like now that this is my own apartment, like it's just me, it just feels like it's my own thing, you know, and it feels very empowering. And so I just wanna have like a more organized system overall. I feel like I need to hit the ground running come in ready for anything okay so I'm gonna show you all what I'm getting on Amazon so these are the things that are currently in my cart so I want to buy this cute little corner organizer for my skincare this will be for the kitchen obviously for the kitchen this will be for the bathroom and I also got a shoe organizer so I'm really excited y'all I do plan on going to Ikea and to some furniture stores in a few days and I will for sure vlog that so that I can kind of show you all my experience with looking for furniture and maybe have you all just like give me your opinions on what furniture I should get because I can sometimes be very indecisive. You know, I just need a little nudge sometimes. But with that said, I think I'm gonna end this vlog up right here. 
and then I will catch up with you all in the next vlog because I'm definitely gonna take you all apartment shopping with me and then I'll give you all some updates on how the apartment is coming along but I already know for the next few days I'm just slowly gonna continue unpacking so it's just gonna be you know more of the same so I really, really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, make sure to dislike it to let me know. Make sure to leave a comment down below because I love chatting with you all in the comment section. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a single video from me. And with that said, my lunch is over. I'm gonna head back to work and I will see you all in the next vlog.